And this weekend was such a, a nice celebration of of all the hard work that went in, really not just for Hawks K, but for all of the Florida Keys and how everybody came together to, to rebuild. And it was also a great opportunity to, uh, to be able to go out and fish with some of the people that are responsible for a good bit of this rebuild. Look at that guy, boy. Oh, jumping oh, again. Oh. What a spin. Look, I'm jumping again. <laughs> oh, it's hard to keep him. Oh, look, I'm jumping right in the boat. Yeah! Come on, come on! Oh! He ate it! He ate it! He ate it! Nice, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! I thought you said you had I to... Look at him, relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off! Oh! oh. 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 Awesome, look at that big boy! K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. So it's a big weekend at Hawks K. I mean, we had the uh, hero salute and also the grand reopening. I mean, there has been so much work that has gone on at Hawks K Resort since Irma pushed through. It, it, this place is brand new. Everything is perfect these days. You know, they got hit hard here with the, the hurricane, but man, what an opportunity to re rebuild and just make it better than ever. Um, they just, you know, went over the top, um, not only, you know, fixed what they had, but made everything better than it's ever been. Yeah, and this weekend was such a, a nice celebration of, of all the hard work that went in, really not just for Hawks K, but for all of the Florida Keys and how everybody pulled together and really came together to, to rebuild all of the Florida Keys, and the Florida Keys are looking better than ever. And then you combine that with the annual thing that Hawks K does with the Hero Salute, you know, just, just a tribute and thanking um, our military and first responders, and man, we had the flyover with the jets, and it was just a, a great opportunity. And it was also a great opportunity to, uh, to be able to go out and fish with some of the people that are responsible for a good bit of this rebuild. Michael and Christopher that we yeah it was really with. cool the uh, you know all the ownership group from from Hawks K came in um, to celebrate the grand opening and it was a really cool opportunity to, to get them out fishing. Oh, yeah, Morning. Pleasure. How are you, Michael? Michael. Tom Rowland. You guys ready to go out there and get them? You bet. Yeah, all right. Bet. Can we put that away for you? Thank you. All right. Here, let's get on the front here, guys. Let's see here. We'll stick it right in here. Okay. Come on in. All right. All aboard. All right. All right, so I'm thinking we'll maybe go look for some tarpon. Sure. Go look for some little tarpon this morning. Love it. The, the uh, early morning light, we might see, see them rolling around, um, get a couple shots on those, and then uh, and then we'll do whatever else the weather dictates. And, uh, you guys got anything particular you like to catch or? Tarpons, nothing better than best. That. Tarpons the best. Good. What about you? Anything you ever wanted to catch That's before? My favorite. All right, good. All right, good. We'll try that Let's first. Try it. I'll get the lines if you want to pull out. One of you guys can sit up front here if you want. All right. Come back, come back by me. I got the word they want to try to get out fishing, so it's a great opportunity for, for them to go see what it's all about. Yeah. Um, Christopher's done lots of fishing down here. Yeah. Actually, owns a house in the Keys, and um, he's uh, you know so he's very familiar with the fishing. Does a lot of fly fishing. Um, Michael's done a little bit, but not as much. So it was really cool to go out, you know, and take them out and just show them a little bit of everything. No expectation, just just a real tour of the backcountry. And we did exactly that. You know, went. Uh, went back into some areas where we can catch some different kind of fish and, and really the idea was just to get out and, and do a little little tour. Let's let's just kind of look around and see how things have changed. A couple of things have changed since the hurricane and then just all the different kinds of fish that we can catch down here in a day of fishing. Yeah, I'd caught some uh, pilchards that morning, so we were, you know, good shape with the bait. We uh, decided we'd run back into the Everglades. Um, it was one of those days where the wind was blowing pretty hard um, out of the east, so, so it was a great opportunity to get back and hide behind some of those mangrove islands, and the, and, uh, the snook had been biting. There'd been a few redfish around, and uh, we started out, um, you know, right away, you caught a snook. There's one. There's a fish. That looks like a good one. Yeah, snook. it's a snook. Nice. Nice snook. Out in the middle of the canal, huh? Yeah, just slowly bringing it back on the... All right, that's good. All right. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. That's a good one. Hook number one. Nice. I remember going back there and just thinking, you know, keep it right along the bottom, move it slow, and uh, and see if anything's out there. Plus, I looked around and I see that everybody else is 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 retrieving pretty pretty quickly. So I thought, okay, we'll just try to do something a little different than everybody else, and then that way we've got our bases covered. If you got if you've got your bases covered, 
you're likely, to, somebody's likely to start catching them and then you can kind of try to replicate what that person is doing. That was not a soft bite at all. That was beautiful a beautiful fish. That's a good thump. So this is one of our most desirable species in the, in the Keys, and especially in the Everglades here, the snook. It's got the, uh, the line down the side, that big pronounced lateral line. Mm. And, uh, and there will be land right on the bottom or, or up under the trees. Really good action. It was um, we were on that high falling tide, and the fish are just kind of working their way down out of that um, that shallow area, kind of around the deeper moat of this island. Um, but you didn't really have to be close to the trees. The fish were kind of away a little bit more, so it was pretty easy fishing, um, and it didn't take long. Michael catches a nice snook. There you go. Set, set hook. You got him. Snook. Nice. snook. Real, 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 real. You got him. Keep reeling. That's a nice snook. That's away. Oh yeah. Good I job. can hear the drag. On. Target oh yeah. Doing All right. Good job, Michael. Nice. That's what we're looking for. You made the perfect cast and you got rewarded. Look See what happened? Look at that. Yeah, That's it's nice all about too. the right. All right, now work them up, up a little bit. All right. Nicely done. Yeah, it's a little drag. Let him, let him run when he nice runs. Nice and easy. Keep the pressure on him real, real. Something coming. Nice. Nice. All right. Hold them right about there and just lift your rod up and I'll see if I can't grab them. Ready? Nice job, Michael. Good work. That's a good snook. Mr. Snook, that's a good one. That's what we're looking for. Nice. Very cool. Nice fish. Nice one. Right, <laughs> that's I got nice my little redemption. thicker. What do you think about that? Huh? Redemption. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful fish. Yeah. That's so see that, that lateral line? One of the only fish I know that has a pronounced lateral line like that. And feel his mouth. He's like just like a bass. He's got a little rough mouth. Oh, look at that guy. Mm -hmm. It's like translucent. You got to watch these gill plates there when you hold them. They can right. cut you. Um, but a really cool fish. Nice job. Right, sir. Michael, here you go, buddy. I'm off to a start. <laughs> Nicely done. Good work. Watch how he blends in with the water here. They just disappear. Very cool. Nice. All right, I'm ready. Good job. That's, snook? that's a real snook. Look at that guy, boy. Oh, jump oh, again! Oh. What a spin! Let him jump again! <laughs>Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Hawks K Resort, the only key you'll need. Lorance, America's number one fish finder. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Yeti, built for the wild. And by Hook, Powerpole, St. Croix Rods, and Vibe. There you go. There we go. Christopher's got one now. Pull yeah, to the left, the away right from the trees. Too. To the left, away from the trees. Yep. There you go. Keep reeling. More reeling. It's coming at you. All right, now over the right Let's side. See what we got here. Yeah. Right. Reel yours up. No, another one. Yeah, nice snook. I got him. There we go. Christopher, snook. come back here and I'll land him for you. All right. Michael, you can go up to the point. Right and right. Catch another one. Now we got him going. Yep. You woke him up. <laughs> You knew you had a bite there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, oh yeah. There was no, uh, no mistake in that. Snook, definitely. Little, little guy, but nice. Kind of interesting, you know, that was the first time we got to fish with Michael and Christopher. Um, and both had totally different backgrounds in fishing. You know, Christopher had done a lot of fly fishing. Um, Michael done a lot, lot of fishing, but um, mostly fresh water, a little bit of salt water. Um, so, you know, it's really interesting to get two different guys on the boat with, you know, it's just guiding. That's mm -hmm. what we do. You, you have to ask questions, you know. What, you know, what do you like to do? What have you done? And then you can kind of tailor, you know, your day and, and game plan around that, um, sometimes on the fly. And that day was perfect because they both had a great attitude. They were both, you know, hey, we're up for anything. You know, it was a fun day for, for both of them. Yeah. And, you know, after getting a good bit of action, you know, in the first couple of spots, it's, uh, it's time to move on because the tide starts to get too low. And you took us to that other spot, which the water was completely muddy, but because we have, uh, you know, the Florida Marine tracks, you can see on those satellite photos, you can see exactly, you know, those photos are taken on the best days. And a lot of times the water's not not as dirty as when we saw it so you can really see where those little little deeper edges are and you know of course anyway I'm fishing up there a lot but we kind of get in those spots and man we really got into the trout 
All right, now Michael, this is a this is a speckled like sea this. trout here. They uh, real good go. eating fish. Yeah. Look at that! You catch them right here while we're messing around. What is it? Another trout. Another, Another trout. trout. Look at that! Trout are on. Trout bite. Trout bite is That's on. I'm telling you, it's a ukulele one. That's good fish in there. So these have to be 15 inches to keep, and they're delicious eating. We uh, he's just a little short, but we uh, we eat these for. How's that taste for compared to uh, freshwater? You know, very similar. I mean, they're, they're here, delicious Michael. eating. Um, You're in the you spot. know, white flaky, um, similar to snapper. I'd say even a little. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was a really good yeah. trout. Ye yellow mouth. One that just, just, yeah. Pretty speckled. It looks just like a freshwater trout, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's cool. Good job. Got another bite. Now they're biting. It's just a bowl, you know, where everything falls into the, into this little, you know, bowl that's probably you know only a couple hundred yards um, around. Um, and uh, you know all these flats just dump into there, so it's a great spot at low tide where you know you know there's going to be fish in there. Um, ended up getting a nice little trout bite going. We were just using the little jerk baits there, and uh, you know caught quite a few trout. So you know we had our trout, we had our redfish, and a snook. You know our little backcountry slam. Um, figured uh, you know the guys had a great time doing that. And then they uh, you know we asked them you know you guys want to try to pull on something big, um, maybe try to catch a shark, and, and they got excited about that. So tell me about the Hawks K grand opening here, and the, what all has gone into that. Well, what's gone into it was a year of total rebuilding. Um, didn't realize until the other day that Irma actually was formed on August 30th last year. Wow. Didn't hit here August 30th, but uh, was. Oh. We're getting a bite. All right. You got him. Here He's on. Real, 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 real like real, crazy. Real. There's another black tip. Oh, you got a nice close. black tip on, I think. All right. Here, real Christopher, yours reel yours in real fast. There's a beautiful black tip right here, close. Okay. Real fast. So you get it up on the surface. I'll tell you more about hawks in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> stop, 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 stop. All right. Hit the Let pause. it drop right there. Hit the pause right in, button. You're right in him. Okay. Just try to keep it up, up high I thought he was can. supposed to get tired he's right first. underneath <laughs> you. There, he's on it. Yeah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> OK, just lift oh. the rod tip up. Yeah, come on. Real as fast as you can. This one might jump. He's there you go. He's on now. Yeah, he's on now. Good work, Double boys. header. Woo. Doubled up. That's what we like. You know, you do this, you do this, you do this. It's time to move on. And, and now to some super clear water where it's really beautiful, probably right inside of the resort here, and uh, put out put out some chum. And man, you were right on the money on that one. The, the black tip sharks came right in. Did you lose it? Yeah, I lost it. It, it popped. Great eat, though. Great bite. Yep. <laughs> Broke you off way up high. I don't know what that, yeah, it almost hit, it almost I'll get you another one ready. I think we got, I think we might have another one ready. Yep, no problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michael, have you made any forward progress? I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't think I I think have. he gets 10 feet and the shark gets 10 feet. <laughs> I'm unconvinced till I see that thing up close. <laughs> this could be a world record catfish. <laughs> good work. Indeed. Looking good. Yeah, you getting a hang of that, Michael? You have to come back in tarpon season. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest my arm after this. <laughs> I think these are some of the best practice for tarpon. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And they're fun at the, in their own right. There he is. That's right. There Man, that's is. a really good one. Nice. Really nice. Yep. Michael hooks up this big black tip, man. It just starts smoking out line. I mean, huge fish. These were, you know, nice size and probably close to 80 pound fish. Incredible run. We had to, you know, um, pull up the power poles and chase these fish. Um, they, they were, uh, you know, so big. I bet that fish pulled us a mile. <laughs> really good. There he is. Nice really good. Done. Down, 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 down. Real slack out. Yeah. There we go. How about that? What, okay. a, what a beautiful, very <laughs> beautiful <laughs> shark. You did it, man. You wanted a black tip, you got him. You got, you got a set of choppers on him, doesn't he? Yeah. What a day, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, we can Beautiful. let him go real easy. And that's awesome. 
Look at the color on that yeah. thing when that sun hits it. At, Isn't that an amazing color? That is a swimming machine. Look at that. It's an eating machine, too. Some petrols and... All right. The tail. Bait and everything. Nice job, Beauty. Michael. Put it there. Good job. Woo. Good job. You did good. Uh, that was fun, man. You know, nothing like seeing it happen quickly. We had we had a couple. We had a barracuda for chum there. That current was running with the wind, so so really a good chum line, and it didn't take long. Seeing these black tips come in, they're so so cool looking. Um, and man, when you hook into those things, you talk about a run. They just just smoke it. The guys, um, you know, really enjoy catching those big black tips. That looks like a black tip. Real fast. Yeah. Look look at that run. Let's see if I can see him. Hold on. So watch that drag. There, there he goes. There he goes. Spinning. Yeah, he's yeah. jumping. Yeah. That's really good. Well, good work. Fantastic. Well, you guys have the spot here. <laughs> Something tells Sometimes. me. Sometimes. Something tells me you've been it. here before. Sometimes it's pretty good. I gotta tell you, you guys are like abnormal. <laughs> We're gonna take you where the sharks are, and they come out in about two minutes. I mean, we have a lot of different kinds of sharks, but that black tip, man, that is the one that is the most like a tarpon. They they run like a tarpon. They bite like a tarpon. They're sight feeders. They, they, you can catch them on all different kinds of stuff. And, and they jump. Yeah, they jump like, like crazy. Very, very athletic shark. Look at that guy, boy. Oh, oh jumping nice. again. Oh. What a spin. Look, I'm jumping again. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. yeah. Real, 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 what a jumper. Oh, my goodness. That's Still got fantastic. him? That's fantastic. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Hard to keep him. Oh, look, I'm jumping right at the boat. <laughs> Man. Oh, I thought up. tarpon fishing was great. This <laughs> may be a new, a whole new level of These black tips are every bit as good as a tarpon. So what did you do Labor Day weekend? I went shark fishing. <laughs> How about that? He almost jumped in the boat. Fantastic. This is serious music we are dealing with here. Many years ago, my friend John Oliverio invented the power pole, and he invented it to solve a problem that sport fishermen were having. It, in shallow water, how do you stop your boat quietly and quickly, no matter where you are in the boat? And he invented this, this item right here, and despite its incredible success, people still wonder and ask me when I get to the boat ramp, hey man, what are these things right here? The power pole, if you don't know already, it's the shallow water anchor. And the shallow water anchor is a way that you can quickly, securely, and quietly stop your boat. And in doing, in creating this, he really opened up a big market for us with being able to use larger boats for the same type of shallow water fishing that we were doing. As the power pole has advanced in technology, so has the trolling motor, and it's allowed us to use boats with bigger live wells, bigger motors, and be able to go further and do more things than we ever have before. And it all really started with this, the ability to stop the boat in shallow water very quietly and very quickly using a remote control from anywhere in the boat. So these things are power poles. They allow fishermen to stop the boat without an anchor in very shallow water and doing it very, very securely. Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Motor Guide. And by Daiwa, Ameritrail, Nikon, and Florida Marine Tracks. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show. You know, we'd like to get to know you better, carry on the conversation, and the best way to do that is follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. What a great fish. Slide over to the top. Come right to him. Up. Right to him. Go down. Slide him right to him. There he is. Look at that beautiful fish. Still may not be done. Man, he is really thick, hot, and athletic. Yeah. So that is an that is gives an you a new apex. respect for the for the shark, huh? That is an apex 
Got a good good set of chompers sure. on him, and yeah. the hook's in a perfect place. Yeah. Um, I can just get him, get him right there without beautiful him handling him. That's pretty cool, huh? Beautiful animal. It's just a, a it's like a cruise missile, right? Torpedo. <laughs> You're right. He doesn't. This like fish of all the of all the ones that we fish for, much more of a sight feeder. Yeah. Than the rest of them. So after you, both guys caught, you know, a bunch of snook, redfish, trout, everything like that, finished off with a couple big black tips, you know, it was it was time to come back in. We had the uh, hero celebration that night, big party, um, came back to a phenomenal dinner here, you know, at the brand new resort, just just super cool. I mean, you know, we've been we've been here for I don't know what 15 years at the resort, you know, it, it's been beautiful, but nothing like it is now. Every room's upgraded, um, the entire lobby, just just everything in the whole place is new, fresh, and upgraded. Um, looks awesome. Um, brand new restaurants, uh, got to have a great dinner um, and then celebrate the heroes um, there that night. Yeah, and Hawks K has uh, long been a supporter of, of the first responders and military and this is, a, this is something that's really important to them. They go all out. It's really a nice party and overall, you know, that's definitely the most important thing that, that came out of this weekend is, is just saying thank you to all those people. I've caught a lot of these on tarpon flies just, just in the channel like we were talking about before. Just a little, little fly like that. Love to get him on a 12 weight. Yeah, well, there's good opportunities for them. They school up off, off the uh, beaches certain yeah. times of the year. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the hook and Rip it. let him go. Nice. See you, buddy. Everything's good. Everything's yeah. good. Woo. All our fingers, all our toes. Awesome. Good job, Thank man. That was great. Fantastic. That was really job. fun. Fantastic. The job. whole way that happened, man, just threw it up, took off. Great team, great team effort. That was a good one.